Bless you. Amen. It's our prayer, and we thank God that we all are here on the new year. We know that 2020 was a very trying time, but we thank God that he brought us through. And we thank God that we've gone through the holidays, and now it's a new year. Amen. One of the things that happened on the, uh, during the holidays was that me and my wife, we had been married for 45 years, the 21st of December, and we thank God because, because 37 of those years we've been in ministry. And we thank God for that. And I know that you've had many challenges on last year, but God brought you through. David said, yeah, though I walk through the valley. Amen. He got, he went through and he came out on the other side. And that's what we did for 2020. Amen. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer and then we'll have our scripture. No, let's do the scripture first. That's Psalms 30 and 1. It says, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. And has not made my enemies to rejoice or triumph over me. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the allotted time that you've given every last one of us. And yea, though we walk through a valley that is hurt and pain and sorrow and even death, God, you brought us out on the other side. We ask that you would bless us now as we turn our attention to you in order that you might cover us, Lord, in this service. We thank you for all of those that are here on this year, that are helping us, that has been blessing us in every kind of a way. We thank you, Lord. We ask that you would bless now. In Jesus' name, amen. Sister Linda Johnson is going to come forth now with our praise and worship. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is 2021.
The Lord has been so good to us, and we should be glad about it. We should look back over our lives, look behind us, and see where God has brought us from. God has been so good to us. I thank everybody for your feet. Uh, that phrase because I believe that everybody know what a blessing is all about. Amen. Amen. It's time for us to go to the Lord in prayer and I just believe that we have a lot to pray. We have a lot to pray about. As you think about some of the things that are happening that is around us and I can't name them all right now but you know what's going on and then you know what's going on around you in your personal life. Amen. Some of the personal things you're having in your family, your extended family, and whatnot. So we have much to pray about. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And we want to pray today. Amen. Amen. So we're going to ask Sister Linda again to come to us with a prayer song. And after that, we're going to ask Brother Steve to come and lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. 
ask you, Father, to have your way. Let your will be done. Here on earth, as it is in heaven. We ask you, Father, those that are in the hospitals with ventilators on them. We ask you, Father, the families. Be with them, strengthen them. Give them words of encouragement. We ask you to bless the, the first responders, the nurses and doctors. We ask you to bless our families and neighbors that are going through something, Father. This is a bad time to be in a hospital on a ventilator because you can't touch, you can't hug, but you have to social distance. So, Father, we come to you for strength. We come to you for wisdom. We come to you for encouragement and hope. And we thank you that we have an opportunity that no matter what we're going through, we still have time to praise you, to spend time with you, to grow closer to you. And we thank you, Father, for this opportunity. Even in the midst of this pandemic, we still have time to come together. You allow us to be shut in by ourselves. And we have time to speak to you, to seek you, to commune with you and grow closer and be better, be what you want us to be. Yeah. We have plenty of time to do it, Father. Yeah. And our prayer is that everyone would grow closer to you yeah. and know that our power is in your hands. There's nothing in this world that's going on or come our way that you don't know about. So we thank you, Father God, that you prepare us, no matter what we face, you prepare us to come through it. Not just to come through it, but to come through it better, stronger, wiser, and closer to you. And we thank you, Father, for your Son. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father, for your salvation. We thank you, Father, for your greatness. We just thank you, Father, for being a forgiving God. We ask you, Father, any sins we have done, wrong and unknown, that you will forgive us. As we confess with our mouths and repent with our hearts, that we will be right in your sight at all times. Because you are a worthy God, a holy God. And you said we should be holy to you. And we should be. Because you brought us through so much. Uh, Pastor, please do. 
Um, well, I, I, I just want to thank the Lord for uh, his faithfulness. Um, uh, as you may know or may not know, I have experienced four strokes uh, prior to 2020. And during this year, uh, God's kept me healthy, kept me safe. Um, I thank him for that. I thank him for uh, blessing me. I've also been fortunate enough to be uh, an owner of a, my own business. And, uh, and uh, in, with the medical problem, the virus, there was also a financial challenge to the entire United States um, due to uh, the loss of the income. Um, God has been faithful. Um, I, I thank him and praise him. Uh, for the fact that my income has not decreased. Amen. Actually, my wife did some, uh, we looked at our numbers and it increased. Amen. So, ain't God great, ain't he good, he's a provider. And, and more than that, he's, he's, you know, I am so um, humbled and uh, I, I'm so uh, uh, at a point of thankfulness and, and just appreciate what God has done for me in my life. And I go on to just say that he has blessed my family. I, I can say that no one has succumbed to this virus in our entire family. Praise the Lord. Um, I know that's not for all families. And you have my prayers and, and, and uh, my uh, encouragement that the Lord is still with you through this, this pandemic. I thank and praise him also for what he's done um, for just not just my immediate family, but my extended family, my son and my daughter. They're both working. They haven't uh, had any decrease in their income. And actually my son has just been uh, just really blessed that he's uh, uh, had an a increase of 25% in his income. He's, he's making more money than I've made at his age. And, uh, I, and I would encourage him to do that. He needs it because he has five kids. So the Lord has just provided for him. He's in the process of building a brand new house from scratch. Something I've never done. So you always want to see your children doing better. And I thank the Lord. It's not me. It's not who I am. It's whose I am. It's because I'm part of who God's kingdom is. And I thank him and praise him for his countless blessing with health, finances, and, and with peace. The greatest thing I've done this year is I've gotten closer to him. This pandemic has allowed me to have more prayer time. Guess what? I'm not working. I, I got time that I can, I'm, I'm at home. I work from home. And I can spend more time in the world. And he's revealed and showed himself to me in the sense that right now, we should all be focused on one thing. We need to blot out everything else that's going on in this world. The election, the all the hatred that's coming from the White House and all that junk and garbage, which comes directly from the devil. We need to just ignore that to the sense that we don't allow it to control our emotions. It doesn't destroy our hope. It doesn't destroy what we expect God to do. Because he is a great God. He is a wonderful God. He is a good God. And if, if, if and I'm going to encourage you, if you haven't made a decision, this is the beginning of the year. Perfect time to make that decision. To walk with him. I'm a personal testimony. You're going to win. You can't lose. Trust him. Put all your, your faith in him and he will bless you. Give him a chance. Accept him as your Lord and Savior and pursue a relationship with him because he loves you and he wants to pursue that relationship with you. That's why he sent us the Spirit of Truth, which is the Holy Spirit. So I thank and praise the Lord for what he's done in 2020 and I live in expectation. I can't wait to see what he's going to do in 2021. Praise the Lord.
blessing. Because in you we live and move and we have our being. So we thank you for that touch. We ask, oh God, now as we come, that is to break the bread of life. That you would bless us, touch us, cover us. Now at this particular time, there is some hero that I have having problems out there. And they want to know how in the world do I get out of this rut. We ask, oh God, that you would speak to the hearts and that you would bless. Move them from darkness into your glorious light. And we'll bless you for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. He touched me. And now, and now I hope something happened. Amen. He touched me. Amen. I want to talk from the scripture I read from Psalms 30 and 1 to understand that to keep fighting, it's not over. Keep fighting, it's not over. I remember the last time uh, Bishop came, amen, down from Columbus, Bishop Clark, and he preached for us. He tagged the text, and the text said, stay in the fight. Do you remember that? Stay in the fight. Because I've learned that there are many things that's worth fighting for. And as a pastor, you as well, believe it or not, amen, we're in the battle. And sometimes nobody can see the, the battles that we have, but you and I. Amen. Am I right? And, and it doesn't matter how many people uh, that you have around you, your employees, your BFF for life, your social media, professional people, and, and all of that. But if you are in this game called life, amen, there's one thing that I learned, amen, and that is there's some things you got to do all by yourself. You got to die by yourself. Amen. Am I right about that? No matter how many people around you, you got to die by yourself. Amen. You got to confront your fears all by yourself. Amen. You got to confront your doubts and then eat the scripture says you got to confront your last enemy all by yourself, which is what? Death. You got to do those things and you got to do them all by yourself. And in this this, this thing called life, amen, I want to win. I want to have that is more win at the end of the day than I do losses. Amen. And say what you want, and you got to do what? You got to fight for the future. And this is what I'm talking about. Remember when, when I remember when my, my oldest sister, she was very sick and she was in a coma. Amen. And we would ask him, we would talk to the doctor, and he wouldn't give us a good report. But in the final summation of his conversation, he said, one thing I know about her, and that is, she's a fighter. She's a fighter. And I, I want to ask somebody today, are you fighting for your life? Amen. And on the other hand, I go to the hospital and I hear people say that I'm tired of fighting. You understand? I'm ready to give up and give in. You understand? The struggle itself is just too great. Amen. You see? And when we were young, you, you remember when we were bullied by some young people. But you had to do what? Figure out a way to put up. You, you just got to fight, and that's all it is, too. Now, I, don't, I don't know uh, much uh, about uh, what's going to happen in, in the future and what's in front of me. Now, God knows it all. Amen. But 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 i got to let everybody know to this today, and that is you can't be limited when it comes down to fight. Amen. It just assures God wake you up and put movement in your limbs and put you, and you're in your right mind. You're going to have to fight, and one thing you're going to have to fight for is your future. I got to fight for my future. Amen. 2020 is gone. 21 is here now. But we still have to do what? We still have to fight. And I don't care if you don't have a good income or what. If you don't have money laid up and all of that. You understand, you see. But the thing about it is, you're going to still have to fight. I have a friend that, uh, he was a, a, a professional ball player. And he said, you know, I made good money. But guess what I had to do? I had to actually fight to keep the money. So, so there, there's fighting in life, you understand. And I remember as a young man, I used to, and folks used to tell me, uh, you know, uh, follow your dreams and your vision, talk. you can be anything you want to be, amen. And there was nothing that was threatening to my future, so therefore I wanted to be anything I wanted to be. So I would look on TV and I didn't see any African Americans on TV, and I pretend that I had my own TV station and own uh, television show because all I saw was Lassie and John Provost as Timmy and all. Y'all remember them days? That's all you saw. And I said to myself, you know what I mean? I, I, want to own my own TV. Then they told me in high school, so you can't be editor of the school newspaper. I said, oh, no, no, I'm not going to take that. I fought. I fought because they say you're not a good writer. And not only I became the editor of the school newspaper, but I picked my own staff. What is worth fighting for? 
You got the fact. I'm sorry. We're sitting around waiting on this, waiting on stimulus, waiting on this. There's nothing wrong with that. But you still have to fight. You got to fight. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, you see, like me, I believe I was born to be attacked. You understand? Like Paul. Paul said that trouble on the other side. You got trouble. And if you got trouble, you're going to get attacked. And not only that, but you're going to have to know what it is to fight. You understand? And I actually believe, amen, that I had to push through the attack. You understand? Of human beings and folk who they call themselves Christian when they come out to fighting. And I came out on the other side. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, you have to admit, amen, that the difficulty will make you stronger if you fight. Because you didn't do it. You didn't give up. You didn't give, give in. You understand? But you got to know what it is to fight. You got to fight for yourself and fight for the future. You got to fight for tomorrow. You got to fight for a better day. You got to fight for your children and your grandchildren. And you got to fight for the future. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You see, the devil, stop, stop uh, uh, mourning over what the devil has done you, to you. Stop going online and trying to get yourself out of the fight and all of that. But we got to know what it is. I mean, the fight. If you fought in 2020, you need to put on your head and get ready. Because it's a new year. But guess what? The fight is still old. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? The devil is mad. You made it mad when you stood up and said that you were a child of God. And ever since that day, guess what I've been doing? I've been fighting, and I've been fighting for my future. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? The fight, the fight. The fight is not outward all the time. The fight is inward. We got an inward fight. And an inward fight is a real fight. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Amen. And many times, you see, the enemy knows who you are or who we are before we know who we are ourselves. Because we're so busy pushing this phony stuff about us all the time. But God is telling you, let the real you stand up and fight. It's time to fight for the future. Fight for the future. Amen. Amen. Before we realize what is happening all around us. You understand? The enemy is trying to stop us because he knows that God has done what saved us and favored us and blessed us. He knows that we're destined, that is, for greatness and for the victory. Amen. You see, David himself, he saw uh, himself as not as being ordinary. And you know what I mean? Uh, he, uh, he did see himself as being ordinary, but guess what? The devil saw him as being a giant killer. And there's one thing about us, is something has to be on the inside that will allow us to fight the giant killer. The history maker has to be on the inside of you. Because guess what you're doing? You're fighting for the future. You're fighting for tomorrow. You understand? Yesterday is said and gone. Get up and put on your armor. If God woke you up this morning, you're going to have to fight. Stop acting like there's no fight out there. There is a real fight out in the devil. And this f six demons and witnesses is going to come after you. So you better learn what it is to do what? That is to fight. To fight. You understand? Now it's time. It's time. It's time for us to do what? Yeah, not to give up. Not to give up. You understand? How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Never give up because God never gives up on you. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Don't write nobody out. Oh, excuse me. Don't write your children off. Don't write yourself off. Don't write your cousin off, your neighbors, and all of that. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Well, they're too bad. They're too far gone. They're too addicted. You understand? They're too depressed. And not only that, they're in and out of jail and all of that. But I'm so glad that God never wrote me off. Stay in the fight. This is a real fight, y'all. This is a real fight. And you're going to have to stay in. That is the fight. Am I right? Stay in the fight. Even if they are on drugs, keep praying for them. You understand? They're not too far gone. You understand? But the enemy would not be fighting them that hard if there wasn't something amazing on the inside of them. That's why he's fighting. Amen. How many of y'all talking about? I don't know how many storms I've been through. You understand? I don't know how many storms that the enemy has brought to try to keep me from God and try to hold me back. But I'm so glad that God can speak to the storm and say, peace be still, you understand? The truth of the matter is that God has been doing what's fighting for you 
for a long time. He's been fighting, you understand, pushing back the forces of darkness and, 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 and hell and demons and witches, trying to cross rivers and lakes. And, amen. And that unbelieving mind of yours and everything, he's trying to get to you. And that's why I'm going to stay in the fight and I'm going to fight for my future. David said in Psalms 30 and 1, Listen to this. He said, uh, uh, David said, I praise you, O Lord. I refuse to let, be, uh, I praise you, he said. He said, O oh God, I praise you. And I refuse to let the enemy triumph over me. Amen. Well, why didn't you? Why didn't you, David, let the enemy triumph over you? He kept fighting. He kept fighting. You understand? Well, why didn't the car wreck take you out? You understand? Because you kept fighting. Because God refused to do what? To let the enemy triumph over you. God refused to let the enemy triumph over you. He kept fighting. You understand? Why didn't that sickness take you out? Why didn't Corona take you out? You understand? Because God refused to let the enemy triumph over you. Why did the cancer take you out? Why did that 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 ugly childhood and that improper childhood stop you? Why was it? Why 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 didn't that addiction just take you out? Because God refused to let the enemy triumph over you. You understand? God' purpose is more powerful than the devil's plan. All you got to do is keep on fighting in twenty one. You got to fight. You understand? Somebody said I already gave up in twenty, and I'm tired. It is no time to be tired. You need to do what? You need to go into some business or whatever it's going to take. Take, you take a five hour or whatever energy thing or I don't know what you do or what your thing is. But I call on the name of the Lord because the fighting is not over. And you're going to have to fight for your refute, your, for your future. You understand? If you're going to live for God, you're going to be able to say, I refuse to let this happen to me. I refuse to let the devil Try on over me. I don't want him dancing in my face. I don't want him to uh, smearing everything in my face. These victories. But I'm going to fight and I'm not going to give up. You got to know what it is, y'all. You better start fighting. That is for the future. You better stop worrying about what's on CNN and what the president going to say. The president himself got to fight. And everybody else around him got to fight. This cabinet got to fight. If you in the cabinet and out of the cabinet, you still got to fight. Stay in the fight. That's what you got to do. Amen. The enemy don't come against people who don't have anything to fight for. I got something to fight for myself. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I got, I, I got something to fight for. Amen. He like Brother Leslie. He like Brother Leslie. I got something to fight for. He had Corona. He's still back over here. I'm going to check Corona. But let's say I'm going to check. Come down with high water. No matter who's there, how many, I've seen it. He's fighting. And we all are going to have to do what? We're going to have to fight. You understand? I'm going to have to fight for my future. Amen. Because God is going to make a way. He's going to bless me. Bless me for the unfairness that they've done. He's going to pay them back for the wrong that they've done. You understand? You see, but you got to do what be big enough to fight for your future. The enemy is not going to do what just roll out the red pocket and let you dance and let you fulfill your little future and have your way. You understand? If the future has anything for you, you're going to have to fight, and that's all it is to it. It's time for you to put on the whole armor of God. And it's time for you to do what? Not to scrimmage the devil. I like what the young folks say. Do a beat down on it. Every now and then you need to do a beat down on it. And the fight is not only outside. You need to shut yourself in with God. Go into your secret closet. And you need to do what? You need to fight. Paul said that there's a wide door that's open for me. But now there's many, many adversaries there. Amen. And that means that there's some ugly things going to happen to me. But guess what? He said, I'm going to fight again and again. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Anything that comes against me, he says, I'm going to fight. You understand? Things are unfair. Sure, they left me out. Not only that, but they mischaracterized me and made me look bad. But that's all right. I don't care what the 
said about me. They're cussing on the sideline maybe about you. But you stay in the fight. Don't get out of that fight. You keep on fighting. Don't you give up. Because of somebody ignorance and their littleness and they're not being a child of God. Don't give up. I'm not giving up the fight. Amen. Just a little short, thick man here. I'm going to stay and fight. Now, I don't know about you. Oh, what they're saying about this. Okay. That's okay. They ain't in the fight. You understand? They're fighting on the wrong side. Amen. You see? But there's the enemy forces. Amen. That don't want you to take new ground. Amen. When the enemy starts to see you making progress, he's going to do what? He's going to do everything that he can to stop you. But you got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting. Step into your anointing. Step into your what? Your peace and your forgiveness. Step into your strength and step into your greatness because greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. You got to keep on fighting. I'm sorry. You got to know what it is because you got a miracle. Amen. You got a miracle and a blessing waiting on you. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You got to keep on fighting. Good morning. I got to get out of here. You understand? But I got to keep moving. I can't get bitter over what they're saying to me. But I got to, I got to keep fighting because at some point I'm going to step in. That is uh, to my greatness. Uh, I'm going to step in to what the enemy don't want me to have. Uh, he's fighting uh, because he don't want you to have a good future. He don't want you to have a good 2021 because God is doing what? Taking you where you cannot go on your own. Uh, and he's Blessing you, God. Keep on fighting that because God's going to cross a river to get to you. He's going to cross uh, uh, that is a storm to get to you. Uh, he'll go through the storm. Uh, he'll do you like he did the Hebrew teenagers. He'll get in the fire with you. Believe it or not. Uh, but you keep on fighting. Uh, good morning. Keep on fighting. Uh, but no matter what's in front of you, uh, 2020, 2020 is over and 2021 is here. Uh, we got to keep on fighting. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? That enemy is hostile. He won't give up. And he won't play fair. But guess what? You got to keep on fighting. Anyway, how many of y'all know what I'm talking about? You got to fight in the daytime. You got to fight in the nighttime. And while you're snowing and sleeping, you got to fight between a snow day and a night day. You got to know what it is. That is the fight for your future. But I'm going to fight because God has given me breath. And I'm going to keep that breath in the day. He breathed it to me, the breath of life. And I became a living soul. And guess what? I'm fighting for my soul. I'm fighting for my right. I'm fighting for my children. We need to fight for our children, children. I'm fighting for my wife. I'm fighting for the church. I'm fighting for the saints of God. And I'm going to keep on fighting. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? And I'm so glad I heard the songwriter say it. We are soldiers in the army. We got to fight although we have to ride. We got to hold up the bloodstained banner. And we have to hold it up until we die. Good morning. I thank God for 2020. But now it's 2021. Somebody already shouted here. Lord have mercy. 
and you say to yourself, you got to know what fighting is all about. We got to learn what it is. Fight. F-I-G-H-T. Fight. I can't spell too good. Did I spell that right? Fight. Fight. You got to fight. Don't fight me. It ain't about me. It ain't about you. And the fight is a mission. When the smoke is clear and the dust is gone, amen, we're going to see the real you. We got to fight. We got to fight. God bless you. It's my prayer. Amen. Come on, brother. Amen. 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 Happy New Year. to have you and let us be committed on this year to be not only a better person but a better Christian for you that our light will shine and men will see your good works and glorify our God who is in heaven. We thank you. We praise you for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. For it's in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.